Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about something much different as from time to time we search for gems in other sectors to bring to your radar. And today we're talking about fintech, a sector which hasn't had a great year in 2022, but the upside opportunity is just too massive to ignore. You may have heard words like omnichannel commerce as more companies rush to be able to provide solutions for different consumer needs. And what this innovative fintech company does is powering seamless omnichannel commerce between businesses and consumers. And according to Grandview Research, the global omnichannel retail solutions market size was valued at about $5.9 billion in 2021. And this is expected to expand at a compounded annual growth rate of 13.6% from 2022 to 2030, hitting highs of $17.9 billion. And omnichannel retail refers to the integration of physical and digital channels as it streamlines the connection between online and in-store channels to offer customers a seamless shopping experience. So our gem today aims to fundamentally change the way digital banking, mobile payments and merchant services are facilitated. They have built an industry disrupting platform that will deliver transformative customer experiences across a broad base of retail industries and clients. And this includes merchants, banking institutions and business enterprises. So please make sure you stick around to the very end to find out more about this play and hear from their CEO on why they are well positioned to be a major disruptor in this space. That said, please drop a quick like on the video and hit the bell so we can get on with it with our number one banger for you today which is AppTech Payments Corp, ticker number on the Nasdaq, APCX, which is currently sitting at 98 cents per share with a market cap of $60 million. So a very small cap stock here, which is going after a large addressable market opportunity to address some of the challenges faced by most merchants in e-commerce. Aptech has been very volatile over the last 6 months, although being up by 5.7%. And looking at the share price range in the period, it appears to be one which has offered some decent entry points and short term opportunities if you are a swing trader. However, when you look at their performance on a year to day perspective, blimey. I think this is where it screams more of a long-term upside opportunity as they are down 93%, putting them in deep, deep value territory or some will be saying a value trap. But I feel it's the former as this was one of the fintech stocks which were hit the hardest at the turn of the year as inflation began to kick in. And most small cap fintech stocks like this were punished even more. So to put things in perspective here, if you assess their performance and include the likes of Block or PayPal who are much bigger fintech players, it gives you a better perspective that such falls are sector-wide and not only company-specific as they are equally down by over 60% on the same period. So as we always aim to buy low and sell high, you want to make sure you do your DD and decide whether AppTech is the right investment for your portfolio in these uncertain times and be patient for the right dips to jump in and maximize any upside opportunity. So here's what's new with AppTech, starting with what they are about. AppTech Payments Corp is an innovative fintech company whose mission is to deliver a better way for businesses to provide their customers with immersive commerce experiences. And Commerce, its all new patent backed technology platform powering seamless omnichannel commerce experiences as a service, drives highly secure, scalable cross border digital banking, text to pay, crypto payments, and merchant services all together from a single unified stack designed to increase operational efficiencies and growth for businesses, so what a scope there. But before we go any further, let's get their CEO, Luke D'Angelo, to help bring this opportunity to life for us and give us a better feel for what we can expect. And I must admit, it is a different type of interview setting than we're used to, but the message is very clear. Corporation, I love the fact that uh, you are boots on the ground, hands on CEO, and, uh, and you are you're one of these guys that, that uh, has taken your 25 years of experience in investment banking and turned it into, because normally guys like you like to invest, keep your hands off, yes. but you must have seen an opportunity here to be able to take the leap uh, because you went from one regulated industry to a really regulated industry. Yes. And, and that must admit you saw something that was pretty, pretty inspiring. Yes, well, you know, I, for years I saw a lot of companies and shareholders get screwed for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I wanted to be involved in a team that was committed to excellence and, and uh, always going the extra distance to accomplish things and presented with technology 
I did see that opportunity and and was very excited to be part of it. By the way, I want to remind you guys, in case you missed him last time, uh, their stock symbol is APCX. APCX, you can go to aptechcorp.com, as we're looking out there for our TV audience. So give us an overview again. Give us, give us top down on what you guys are doing. Well, Abtech is you know, very, uh, very involved, hands-on fintech company. We're based right here in Carlsbad. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the past, we've focused on mobile payment and mobile payment technologies. And ultimately, what we provide customers at Abtech is a patented intellectual property backed suite of solutions to help them process dollars quick, efficiently in, in today's standard through mobile devices, as well as crypto conversions and other exciting things. So what's interesting is <clears throat> this has been around for a while. I can bring up a competitor for a second. Verifone, probably the one that we recognize the most, but Verifone's a one-trick pony. I think that's the bigger, better, faster, stronger difference with you guys, right? Is that you guys are dipping your toe into every single way to get paid for a merchant, including digital currency, correct? That's correct, because most merchants, they go to their local banks, they go to Chase or they go to Wells Fargo or either, either work with Stripe as well, and they get a certain way to to deliver it. What Aptech does is we take our patented products and we build a custom suite of solutions for that merchant so they can accept many ways versus just the standard auto bond fee that the big banks charge and that's the only way you can go and no and no and no but over here. So this yes. is so your criteria is specific to, to an individual business, right? Well, we're more business to business to the banks, the uh, credit unions and the large retail players who then in turn use our technology as a backbone and provide it to their customers. Give us an, give us an example of what that experience is like um, in, 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 in contrast to what they normally had before, as you just mentioned. Well, um, most merchants uh, have to deal with their bank, okay? And they have, because that's the way they know to get money for processing money to accept credit cards or checks or what have you. Um, when merchants who are used to dealing with that route and run into brick walls because of certain practices or policies, it's very refreshing that the merchants come to us and we're able to provide a full suite of solutions that they can pick and choose what they want rather than being showed the, the door and no, 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 and stop. Right. Wow. So what an opportunity, a tailored payment solution for merchants that overcomes the traditional rigid barriers. And that's innovation for you but only time will tell. They have a diverse management team with years of experience, comprised of entrepreneurs, innovators and sector experts led by Luke D'Angelo, who also doubles as their chairman. They say they will propel the fintech industry forward with the launch of their Commerce Experience as a Service platform. And this first to market, cloud-based Commerce Experiences as a Service platform is backed by Aptex Mobile Commerce Patents, Core Partner Technology and other related internal intellectual property and the solutions incorporate other features to create flexible, rich, personalized payment and banking experiences for end users. And what differentiates Commerce and Aptech from others is their entire approach, from strategy and development to packaging and delivery of their Commerce experience. One platform, All Commerce is the attack line for Commerce because it seamlessly delivers digital banking, text-to-pay, crypto payments and merchant services all together from a single unified platform and its suite of powerful omnichannel payment and digital banking solutions removes headache and complexity from the process whilst enabling businesses to deliver feature-rich commerce experiences to their customers with minimal effort. And this comes along with greater efficiency and cost savings as well. How very exciting here. Aptek also announced a partnership with Chip Financial to enhance Chip Financial's suite of solutions that provide brands transformative technology to create seamless customer experiences. And Chip Financial provides a variety of clients with flexible omnichannel transactions across a full spectrum of brand sectors. And the partnership between Aptech and Chip Financial enables further market reach and penetration to extend Aptech's portfolio of commerce solutions. And Aptech also recently acquired Hothan, which brought their patent portfolio to 17 total patents. And they announced a partnership in July that will expand their cross border payment capabilities in Canada setting the foundation for enabling a full range of stellar commerce experiences for both brands and customers across borders. So lots to look forward to in the months ahead on this stock. So some very, very interesting 
and mind-blowing prospects ahead for this fintech penny stock, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I'd love to hear from you. So please let me know your thoughts on this top fintech stock in the comment sections below and what other stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.